Park, overlooked not far from the Garden, where Wisconsin will battle Rutgers tomorrow. Among those here to watch it, the former Badger Josh Gosser. You see the incredible numbers, defensive specialist, but also has the only triple double in school history. He did that against Northwestern in 2011. And we are very pleased to welcome Josh Gosser here to our BTN live set. And Josh, you were telling us in the breaks, first time you've ever been to New York. First time. How about that? What do you yeah. think of it so far? Uh, it's, it's great so far. I'm excited to go to the Garden tonight, actually watching Frank Kaminsky play. So it's going to be great to uh, see one of my former teammates play, and then tomorrow go ahead and watch the current team. So I'm really excited for it. Uh, it's, that's really neat. Uh, you mentioned Frank, and, and of course, this team was such an integral part of the Big Ten over the last few years and the greatest team in Wisconsin history. What's it like to, as you think back to what you guys accomplished and to see how good Frank has been here and, and you know, Sam and the pros as well. What's it like as you think back to it all? Well, it's awesome. You know, great memories for sure. And uh, the documentary that played the other night, it was just great to be able to text with those guys while we were watching it and just really talk about all the good times we had on and off the court. So. Not only were we a good team, you know, we won a lot of games and had some great experiences, but it was more so the memories off the court, you know, the friendships, the relationships that we were able to build that'll last us a long, long time. Well, look, we were talking earlier kind of about the unprecedented success of Wisconsin. This could be the 17th straight year in a row where you finish in the top four or better. It's hard to believe, it's hard to imagine in today's day and age with the parity that we have, especially in this conference, that you could still have that kind of success. And what I want to know, I'll probably ask Greg Gard the same exact question, mainly because I'm not really that original, but I'll ask you, what is it to a player that makes you guys so successful? Because let's be honest, you haven't had the best talent in the country year in, year out. Present yet. company excluded. Yeah, oh yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, right total All-American. I'm not saying that, but seriously. Seriously, what is it? I mean, we don't get the inside look that you will have. And what is it from day to day that makes this such a successful program, not just successful teams year in, year out? I, I wish I had a, a straightforward answer, but really it's just the culture. You know, you, you get on campus and immediately you're gravitated into how to become a better player, how to win, how to fit in with the team. And you see a lot of times freshmen don't necessarily uh, take big roles right away. So it's, it's all about the team and getting better every single year. I mean, a guy like Ethan Happ, red shirts, his freshman year, now he's arguably Big Ten Player of the Year type, type player. Frank Kaminsky, same thing, freshman, sophomore year, barely got on the court, National Player of the Year. So it's just a progression, coaching style, a culture that really gravitates you in just wanting to win. How important is the system? Because there's a lot of teams out there that are struggling to find a system that really works for them. I think we all know what the system is at Wisconsin, whether it's a pack line defense, whether it's a swing, and certainly with your team, it certainly evolved to become a little something more dynamic because yeah. of the personnel. But how important is a system and understanding roles to the chemistry of your teams? The system's everything, and that's what you learn as a freshman, sophomore, growing into your role as an upperclassman. So you um, come in as a freshman, you're thrown at a lot of things defensively, offensively. You know, you're not going to be getting a lot of shots necessarily. But the system is take good shots, take care of the basketball, play good defense. It's pretty simple when you think about it. But it's just the, you know, you're, you're, you're accounted for. So if you, if you mess up, if you don't do those things that make you successful, you won't be on the court. So you've got to do them if you want to play. If that's the case, I mean, we look at Michigan State. Well, Michigan State's biggest struggle right now is they don't have that guy, that Denzel Valentine, that Draymond Green. And certainly Wisconsin, having players that come in as freshmen, become sophomores, become juniors, and then eventually become seniors that you can rely on. How important is it to have those juniors and seniors that are going to just at least establish? Because coaches will tell you what your role is, and you know as well as I know that when you come in as a freshman, my role is going to be to shoot every time I get the ball. Right? I mean, we know that. How important how important is it to have that good senior, junior, senior leadership year in, year out? Yeah, well, like you said, we're not that talented, so we don't have guys leave freshmen. I didn't really say that. I don't think I said that. <laughs> but, you know, it, Nicely it, it, done, it, it, Josh. <laughs> it's great to have guys who, like I said, progress every single year. So freshman, sophomore year, you learn, you get better, and then by the time you're a junior, senior, you learn how to be a leader. You, know, you learn how to be a better offensive player, defensive player, and together through it all, 
that's what creates a good team. Yeah. Uh, give us a sense of your contact with the guys who are still there who play with you. Nigel Hayes, Bronson Koenig, Vito Brown. How much interaction do you have with them? A lot, a lot. And that, like I said before, that's a special part about Wisconsin. Uh, not only the wins, but the relationships I've built. I'm, I'm, even though they're three, four years younger than me, we're still best friends. And guys three, four years older than me, I'm, I'm really tight with as well. So. Nigel hooks me up with tickets for tomorrow's game, so I, I appreciate him for that. And uh, definitely, I mean, we have a, we have a group chat uh, still from our 2015 national championship team that we talk on weekly, to be honest with you. So really tight-knit group. Bring us up to date on your career. You told me you were battling an injury. I know you've been to Europe. Where are you right now in terms of your pro career? Yeah, I played overseas in Germany last season and uh, unfortunately suffered an injury and had uh, sports hernia surgery this summer. And uh, didn't heal as well as I wanted it to. Still feeling a lot of pain. Um, so I had surgery again three weeks ago. So just kind of recovering, trying to get healthy, putting basketball on the back burner just so I can get my body right. Been through a few surgeries in my college career and now professional as well. Uh, so kind of just seeing what happens next. Well, we wish you the best, Josh. Thanks for stopping by, and we look forward to seeing you back out on the court. Josh Gosser, former Wisconsin star. Thanks He's showing me by. a sensitive side a little bit, too. It's good. A little more sensitive. Huh? <laughs> Cole, once you told him all of his teammates were no good at basketball. <laughs> oh, man, I can't win. Were you